la di la di la di la di la I messed up. So I started filming this project about a week ago, but the other day when I was filming a different video, I was using the same SD card, but it happened to fill up during that trip. And then this happened. I started deleting footage on here, realizing that I was deleting the footage of a video that I have yet to edit yet, and I didn't transfer it onto my computer. So now I completely lost half of that video right there. So yeah, I deleted like the first half of this video, but all you guys missed was me grabbing a piece of scrap wood, cutting it into three little cubes as the base of this project. But we're going to pick it back up when I started to sand these down into spheres. So hope you enjoy. I mean, it may not be a perfect sphere, but what do you guys think? I'm going to show Kevin and see what he has to say. If he has any more better ideas than me, because I don't know how to make that any better of a sphere. What's up, Doc? What are you thinking of my snowman pieces? You got any way to make those more of a sphere? What did you use to sand it? I don't know. <laughs> This one thingy, I think. Um, paper or a file? A file, yeah. A big, like, nail filer. Could have got the belt sander out. It would have been ten times easier. You can actually get a nice curve to it. Where was the belt sander? <laughs> that is loud! I never knew we had that thing. That makes it a lot easier. Although I can't get too precise because I don't want to shave my fingers off, obviously. But I think I got the body and the second part into a decent sphere. But I do need to make a new head, so we're gonna start from scratch here. All right, that looks good to me. Now time to like, I guess, drill a hole. I need Kevin again. I don't know where that drill is. I didn't even know we had this thing. I don't know anything, really. I'm just a fisherman. I'm proud of these little balls I've made. I like little balls in my hand, you know what I'm saying? I went inside and got the drill in there. Kevin drilled some holes through the middle of all these. And then we put a piece of, um, I don't even know, uh, wire through it and then bent out the eyelets. And now we have a little snowman right here. But I'm just gonna super glue it together so it's not like moving around a little bit. And then paint it white, obviously, because snow is white. I mean, it's definitely not the best looking snowman, but it's my snowman, and it's my creation. So that's what matters. It has some value when I'm fishing with it, you know? Which I probably won't really get a chance to fish with this thing until ice fishing season, since fishing right now is just absolutely buns, unless I take it to a creek and catch like a creek chub or trout or something with it. I don't even know. I, I, a trout would not eat this. I can't even catch trout with like a rooster tail, so there is no way I can meme around and catch a trout with this thing. It's dry, I think. Is it? <laughs> it's not dry. Dry faster! Yeah, I think it's good now. And we grab a paintbrush, like, that's how you paint, is with a paintbrush. It already doesn't look great, but it looks good. Good enough for me, knowing that I made it. I'm gonna let it dry, then come back. Coat number two. Oh yeah, it's looking so much better. Oh yeah. Now it's time to let it dry again. All right, I got the clear coat now, it's dark out, but time to spray this thing on here. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I have no idea how this is gonna work or how it's gonna turn out, but I guess we'll find out eventually. Catch you guys tomorrow. This is what it looks like. It feels dry. It, it probably needs a little bit more time because it's been about 24 hours, but I'm impatient, so I'm gonna take it out. Unfortunately, this is my only option to take this lure out because the ponds and lakes are all frozen, but not enough to ice fish yet. But I do plan on taking this thing ice fishing once I get safe enough ice to ice fish on. That's kind of the main reason I made this thing, but I do want to test it out, see what it looks like in the water, if it even sinks and stuff like that. First cast. It floats. Well, that's a complete fail. <laughs> Nothing's biting top water this time of year. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get some weights in there. This lure has been quite the project, partly because I'm an idiot and I didn't realize that it would float, not thinking that wood would float. It's kind of stupid of me, but that's fine. Anyways, I got this weight, and I'm gonna somehow attach it to this thing. I'm just gonna try to squish it into a more desirable size. I need the Hulk over here. I mean, it's a little bit more round than it was to start. Not that big of a difference, but every little bit will help. Now I gotta see if I can drill a hole inside this thing. Got the drill. That actually worked a lot better than I expected. I gotta keep going a little bit more, but it's looking fairly decent right now, to be honest. 
Okay, the weight is now in there. I'm just gonna super glue it in so it doesn't like fall out or anything and give it a go again. I super glued the hook and I just ripped off some of the paint because I super glued the hook. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. I'm so stupid. But the weight's in there, so that's good. At the creek again, this time with a lure that actually sinks. We're gonna see how it goes. It's quite a big lure for these little chubs, so I don't, I'm not too sure if they're gonna eat it, but at least it sinks. I mean, low key, it has some nice jigging action. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he actually ate it. Oh my goodness, that's a big chub. That is a giant chub. Oh my gosh, I caught one on the snowman. That is actually insane. What the heck? Oh, that is actually crazy right there. Snowman catches me a chub. Holy crap, that's a big chub though. Let's get it, man. Beautiful, beautiful looking fish right there. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Snowman, got me a fish. All right, bud, appreciate your bite. Send you back on your way, big man. I can't believe that actually worked. See if there's another one, but honestly, oh my gosh. I was just literally about to say, but honestly, I don't know if I wanna throw it anymore because I feel like I'm gonna break it off. And then I get hung up. <laughs> the next cast i think that's a sign i should probably call it a day for myself at least i'm pretty proud of the way that thing turned out and i actually cannot wait to take it out ice fishing and film that video for you guys just as soon as we get some ice coming over here which is why i'm in the creek because it's like on and off there's like thin layers of ice but it's gone so it's kind of difficult to fish like ponds and lakes right now but i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me handcrafting that lure right there and if you want to see some more videos of like behind the scenes of kevin 3d printing those lures i can definitely bring those to you or if you want to see videos of me making more lures let me know in the comments down below because i can definitely make it happen for you guys and i hope you enjoyed this one and if you did be sure to leave a fat thumbs up and as always folks fish with passion uh -oh. can somebody come and save me i just want to know I wanna know